Every Minecraft player who's played for more than about 20 minutes knows that creepers absolutely suck. They're one of only a couple mobs that can actually grief your worlds by blowing things up, destroying your blocks, and just ruining everything. And they always seem to pop up right as you're finishing some big redstone project or some build. They are the cursed spawn of Notch's miscoding. So in today's video, I thought it would be appropriate that we go ahead and take back our world from the creepers. So we're gonna be throwing them into a volcano. Because revenge is a dish best served as hot as molten rock? I don't know. So a few videos ago, I built this massive cliff right over here with the help of some friends. Now this thing is absolutely gorgeous, but it's also very dangerous on the inside. This place is a complete mob trap, which is what makes it so perfect. I've just been looking at the curvature of this and how it kind of has two peaks, you see? And that one over there is a slight bit taller than this one. So this peak I'm standing on is going to be turned into the rim of the volcano. And that one over there is where our creepers are going to be shot out of and into this one to die. Flying creepers, what could go wrong? I should also let you know that this video has been inspired by my buddies Wreck and Soli, who both built creeper farms recently on the server. Both of their videos were really good, so make sure to go check them out. I'll link those videos down in the description. Now that I think about it, probably the best part about this is that the creeper farm is going to be underground, so I don't have to make it pretty. So we'll just use straight up stone because that's easy to get, and we'll probably use slabs because those are a lot cheaper. Oh my gosh, I'm down to my last rockets. This is why we need this farm, guys. All right, guys, well, you can see that the top here is filled with lava, everything looking good, but I'm not even sure how this is exactly going to work. Hi, welcome to a very sparsely populated redstone world. This place always has great jazz and almost never any hostile mobs. Give me a sec and I'm gonna try to figure out how this mechanism works. All right, this is super simple, so let's just go ahead and chuck a creeper in here and see if it works. I'm an idiot. Chuck a creeper in there, see what it does. Okay, let's give this a shot. Creeper in. Uh, this time. Yeah, there we go. So let's just test how far this shoots. That was about 11 blocks. Yeah, I think this is actually gonna work. We just need to make sure this is a little bit taller so that it actually gets that arc right into the lava. Okay, I went ahead and built this little thing here and I was seriously about to test it on myself. Now just to find a test subject. Aha, you'll do, Freddy, come here. Freddy, I know you're scared, but it's okay. Up the mountain, Freddy, come on, bud. Come on, Fred, here we go. This is your moment, my son. Fire when ready. Freddy, no, he died. Freddy, no! I think we're gonna have to rework this whole thing. Well, it took a second, but I was able to kind of rework it. I had to kind of pull this peak closer to the other one. And I also went ahead and measured out those 11 blocks so that we could get that easier. And then I snagged a new test subject. Unfortunately, it's nighttime, but we're just gonna have to deal with that. Um, meet Jeffrey. This is Jeffrey right here. I don't think you're gonna die, Jeffrey, but no promises, bud. If all goes well, you die tonight. You ready for this, bud? This is the ride of your life. And possibly the end of it. Okay, there you go. Jeffrey, fly! Yes, Jeffrey, fly! I'm so sorry, you're very dead. It was a worthy cause. Guys, this is actually looking pretty sick. So let's just take off right here, and you can turn around and see that. Look at that mountain. It looks kind of funny with it, like, sticking up like that, but I think it actually works, because I'm actually going to put something on top of that as well. You'll see. It's coming later. Don't worry. So as you can see, we've got the lava, of course, and then underneath those is all the campfires that we place down, and that's what's actually going to be killing our creepers. So they're just going to fly over, fall through the lava, hopefully have enough momentum to actually go all the way through, and that's where they're going to get onto the campfires, and they'll die there, dropping all their loot. It looks a lot more like a volcano now, especially with that steam coming up from the top. So if you come right in here, you can see that this is where the contraption's going to be. But that does mean that we actually need to build a farm, finally. So I'm probably going to take out a bunch of this grass and stone and stuff, take it down to a good level, and we'll get started working on the mob farm. So this design I'm using is from Nembomb. I kind of just did it from memory, so it may not exactly be like his, but I will say the way I spider-proof this comes from Shulkercraft. One of my main goals for this episode is actually just not to die, okay? Because every time I build one of these farms, I die horribly. I end up getting to like the very end and then I have to go back and get rid of all the torches and all of a sudden all the creepers start spawning and I die a miserable, horrible death. That doesn't count. It doesn't count. I wasn't actually building the thing. I was trying to put stuff in a chest. It doesn't count. All right, let's flick it on. I'm not even sure if this is gonna work, but uh, let's see. Makes its way around the corner, and yep, I got a little bit of lag here, but that's okay. All the water goes down. All of them work. Yeah! And all the water's gone. That, my friends, is one working farm. Okay, let's see if I can fly down here. The next thing we need to do is actually set up the water stream so that we get them all into one spot.
Heck yeah, look at that. Oh, I'm so scared, but also this is amazing. You know what? Well, we're going to turn this off for now, actually, because I don't want it flooding while I'm working with these guys. But for the moment, we actually need to switch over to a creative world. So what I'm trying to work on is how we're going to separate out each mob, because it's going to cause problems with the bouncer if we have more than one going at once. Okay, so here's the first iteration of what I've come up with. Let's see if it works. So creepy boy's coming through. He hits the tripwire. No, okay. More delay, maybe? I have no clue what I'm doing anymore. So we're starting from scratch. All right, I've officially created a system that works. Basically, everything is on this eight hopper timer here. I was going to use tripwires and everything, but that's too complicated and it doesn't work. So if we put a bunch of creepers back here, you can see that they kind of get sorted out right here. There's a bit of a sorting system here. It's just on a timer, of course. But they go into these little compartments and it works fairly well. But this part is what really gets it is that this is on a timer here. So it doesn't really matter what happens. It's a beautiful sight to see, really. Look at this. Pachoo! So now that we've got all that redstone figured out, I think the only thing to do is actually to make the tunnel that goes up here. So this tube is going to come out right here. Guys, this farm is working too well. What is going on? Holy crap, that's a lot of creepers. Oh my gosh. I'm very scared. Oh, there's another one right there. Oh my goodness! Guys, this is a death trap. Still doesn't count. Okay, listen, don't quote me on this, but it should be ready. So let's head down in there and open it up. Let some creepers through and see if it actually does anything. Okay, as soon as we get rid of this block, creeper should be able to come through. So let's make a break for it. I have a creeping suspicion that it's going to start shooting creepers at my face. I don't know what just happened. Don't exactly know what happened just there, but let's go into spectator mode and make sure everything is all right. So the machine is turned on, all the creepers are falling down, it's perfect! And you can see right here the bubble column comes up, goes through the trap doors, and then gets shot out right over there at the slime blocks. Oh, okay, so it seems like we've got a bit of a clog. I don't know what's up with that, seeing as I did this in creative and it worked fine. Again, more dangerous, dangerous games I'm playing at the moment. Let's see. Yeah, okay, that one knocks him out. Are they gonna fly? He better fly. Something launched. Bye-bye, creeper. Um, and there's creepers flying everywhere. Okay, I need to expand the... Okay, okay, stop, stop. Please stop. Too many creepers. Boys, you're supposed to go in the volcano, please. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Okay, so we'll let him through, right? And we'll close it off so nobody else can get... Now go, fly, buddy. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> okay, so let's... <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, let's hook this back up, and I'm gonna fly back over here. Watch this. Watch it. Just watch him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, no. Oh, no. He didn't make it. Oh, okay. But the other ones are making it. The other ones are making it. Oh, okay. So they're not always making it. Maybe I need to make it one block longer. Okay, there we go. So I expanded it just a little bit. Now it's time to open her back up again, and all of them should go in there. <laughs> one piece of redstone dust. Do it. I should not find this as entertaining as it is, but that is flipping awesome. I'm not even gonna lie, I could sit here and watch this for hours. Literally hours. And look at this, it's perfect. So these guys come in, watch, they get launched, they come down. And if you look down here, see they haven't died. They actually fall through the lava and they have to die down here. Because they have enough momentum to actually fall through the lava, then we don't lose any drops. Or else all this stuff would just be burning in lava. Listen guys, as much as I want to sit here and watch this all day, we actually got to get back to work. Because all this redstone's exposed over here. Like, what the heck? What am I doing? And we haven't even hooked up the storage system. I'm really slacking today, guys. So this is a volcano, right? What better creature to guard a volcano than a dragon? Now, it's not going to be a real dragon, but it's going to be a massive statue of a dragon on top of this mountain. And that's going to help cover up some of the redstone and also just make it look really cool. Or at least that's the plan. We'll see if it turns out. And for this, I'm actually going to be using probably cobblestone and mossy cobblestone. So it's probably time to farm up some vines. Good thing we live in a jungle. Oh, and I know I mentioned him in the last video, but a lot of inspiration for this comes from the Big Baron. Again, he's an amazing builder, so go check him out. I'm starting to understand how flipping massive this thing is. Like, look at it in comparison to the boat over there. That's pretty epic. 
that's actually gonna have to be all for today, guys. We didn't do a storage system, but that's actually because I've got an idea of what I want to do. Oh, and one thing you guys might not know about, if you want to get more involved in the EchoCraft community, you can go ahead and join the Discord, which should be linked down in the description. And you can even get whitelisted for the fan server, which is called WhisperCraft. I recently had a chance to go check it out, and there are some amazing builds on there. A lot of people doing really cool stuff, so if you're interested in that, go ahead and check it out in the description below. But that's gotta be it for today, guys, so I will catch you in the next one.